Ancestrally, mammals relied heavily on their sense of smell, since a large percentage only came out at night and were very small. In the Catarine primates, as vision became more and more important, smell actually decreased in its effectiveness as a sense. This can be said because a mutation occurred in a specific gene, the TRYP2 gene of the vomeronasal system. This meant that this entire sense of smell, the vomeronasal system, was no longer functional. Most mammals rely on this to detect pheromones in the sweat of other members of their species. This is why, for example, when two dogs smell each other, they get such information from each other because of the apocrine secre secretions in their sweat. But once the vomeronasal system was no longer functional because of this mutation in the TRYP2 gene, then catarine primates relied less on pheromones. Also, in the main olfactory system, the areas of the brain which processed olfaction were decreased. The accessory olfactory bulbs are no longer present in catarine primates. Plus, many of the genes which code for the olfactory receptors became mutated pseudogenes which no longer worked. While most of the genes, virtually all, of the olfactory receptors in New World monkeys are functional, in the catarine primates, at least a quarter of these genes are non-functional, and in the apes it can go up to say 70% in humans. So there was a decrease in the effectiveness of the sense of olfaction in catarine primates.